we are on hello hello i haven't seen you in so long i know it's been like a month yeah i think it's been like what, almost six weeks or something like that oh my god my bad Oops. sorry people <laughs> sorry we are traveling we we're jet setting we're doing things um mm -hmm. yeah hi we're retired fangirls this is episode six which is great. When did we even start this podcast? I don't remember. And like January ish. I oh, think. so it was like New Year, New Us. I guess it was New Year. We said it's time to actually do this thing. 2023 will be our year, and it has been. So come join really, us on really. this journey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kaylee. I'm Megan. And we are retired fangirls. We're internet friends who have been friends for like a million years almost 10 years now I think it's been nine years it's been a lot of years <laughs> it's been a while and we're still here and now we have a podcast so come hang out with us every once in a while when we have time to record <laughs> and edit it it's, we're trying to be every other week but we did pretty well like who knows we did pretty and good. then we just went over an ocean so we couldn't really record <laughs> yeah so I did end up going, like, I don't I don't know, from the last time we talked, I went to Chicago, like, the next week, like, very mm -hmm. last week. Um, I went to C2E2 for any convention goer peoples. I went Was there. Was that in Chicago? Yeah, it's the okay. biggest convention center in North America. I was like... Why is it in Chicago? <laughs> no, but I guess it's kind of, like, central. So, you know... I had like friends from the West Coast coming, so it was nice to see them finally. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, the Midwest people are over there, so and it wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, that was fun, pretty large. And then literally the day after, I went to London, and you went to London the week that I was in Chicago. How was your mm -hmm. trip? It was good. Um, I was away from home for like two weeks, which uh it doesn't feel like that long until you don't sleep in your own bed for two weeks <laughs> and you like poop in your own toilet <laughs> like a shower in your own shower uh, yeah um it was very fun there wasn't like a lot that I had planned but I got to like go to the globe and um I worked out of our London office saw all of like my little co-workers over there um and took 60 polaroids i bought one of like the mega uh, mega packs and brought my camera over yeah so not a lot if you look through my camera roll happened but a lot happened if you look through like oh, the actual physical the film rides. yeah oh that's so, so were you working or like I worked for half of it and then I was on vacation for half of it oh that's nice mm -hmm. so it's like still kind of like in a routine mm -hmm. did you go anywhere fun or just do all the touristy stuff um I didn't really do much of the touristy stuff I went to the globe to see the tempest which was really fun and interesting and then but uh, we just like had a lot of dinners yeah <laughs> we went to a lot of like fancy places and then on the Sunday one of the Sundays I guess I was there um one of my friends who's a local took me around and um we saw all of the places that are in London Boy by Taylor Swift. So we oh. went to like Bond Street and Shoreditch and Camden Market and all of that, which was a really long day because those are not like They're really not near close. each other. <laughs> um, but that was fun. So like have pictures of all of that. And then we did like the Buckingham Palace and all of that. Um, while we were there, we noticed that there are so many like Prada Mangers. So we would There's like so many. So many. Everywhere. It's like Duncan in Boston, like literally every single corner. <laughs> yeah, it's like Starbucks here. Like there would be ones that are next to each other. Yeah. It was wild. So we started counting all of the pretz that we saw or like judging distance based on how many pretz away things were. Valid. Have you been yeah. to London before? Yeah. So I went when I was 11 and then again when I was 17. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh yeah London's fun I finally I haven't been since I was like 10 so it's been like a hot minute it's a different experience when yeah. you get to be like an adult <laughs> well, like because like I did all the touristy stuff when I was little and so I was like mm -hmm. hey, I don't really need to see it I can just like walk and enjoy um mm -hmm. we were staying like right by the Tower of London so I saw her and I didn't even go to Buckingham Palace <laughs> like I didn't need to see her <laughs> But, yeah yeah 
I was there for Star Wars Celebration. For any Star Wars nerds listening, I went and it was a lot. <laughs> what are the big takeaways? What's happening in the Star Wars universe? So I managed to get into the big... Pa- so what's annoying about these Star Wars conventions is that you are not even guaranteed to get into like a panel. Why like, are you paying for a ticket? Exactly. I'm like, why am I paying all this okay. money here to, to like not even like consume the content I want to consume right but I ended up getting managing to get into the big like first day panel where they announce everything so there's gonna be the Ahsoka show is there something with Ray? I am a Ray coming back I love her she's coming back they're like doing more movies um did she the- die or did Kylo die I don't Kylo I didn't died. watch Kylo did Kylo died yeah oh uh, you know honestly good riddance he like died in, in her arms, if that makes you feel better. <laughs> I <laughs> you're like I don't... they should have committed to the bit and let him be like a real villain. He's not Zuko, you know? Like I don't know how people feel about Raylo, like that whole ship. I don't even know how I feel about it. Me personally, I think Ray should just be on her own. I know. And like, I think that Finn and Poe should be in love. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. That Shut should have up. been the romance. Because Luke doesn't end up with anyone. It's like the Leia and Han situation. I it's know. always the side characters. And he's just like vibing on the island. And then he just like dies. And we're like, okay. <laughs> Rest in peace, King. Like, come on. Everyone dies in that damn sequels. Um, but yeah, she's coming back. She's going to be like a Jedi master. And Daisy Ridley like came on stage. And we were all like, She's not on social media. I never know what that girl is up to. <laughs> they all bullied her away. I know. Fuck the fanboys. <laughs> you talk Being to Being a Star Wars fan and a woman sounds like a place where I would not want to be. I'm just like here. I don't even pay attention to the haters. Don't look at me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm very excited for her return. Like mm-hmm. there's gonna be a lot of fun projects and they did like Indiana Jones too. So like Phoebe Waller Bridge was there and I was like I'm Indiana just... Jones just because of just um, because it was Lucasfilm Studio Showcase. So it was just they showed Indiana a... Jones is Lucasfilms. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Everything is it's like all Disney basically. Well, Disney owns like everything <laughs> yeah. now. Mm-hmm. Did you see that? Um Hello to my Percy Jackson audience. I'm welcoming you back into the fold. Did you see that Netflix is making The King Chronicles a TV show? Oh, I didn't see that. I just saw it. So Disney Plus passed up on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw that. Yeah, but Netflix picked it up. So wondering why Disney Plus passed up because I love The King Chronicles. I'm a King Chronicles truther. Like, give us that representation. (laughs) Also, like, Egypt is fun too. Like, <laughs> get them all in there. Yeah. So I'm interested to see how that goes. I hope it's animated personally. Yeah. I love a good animated, like anything, but Netflix sucks. So I have no faith. I think Netflix picks everything up. So they are so hit or miss. Exactly. Yeah. But then they cancel the good shit after like two I seasons. Right. I don't so. know. When King Chronicles drops, everyone needs to stream within the first two days. Binge it so that right. <laughs> season two. There's only three books. It wouldn't be that hard. I know. Let's just make it like a trilogy movie. Call it a day. I haven't read those books in so long, but I feel like they would lend themselves well to a trilogy. I don't know. I It's been forever, but I it's underrated for sure. Definitely. I mean, it's definitely overshadowed by Percy Jackson because yeah. no one's going to compare to Percy, but... But it's different. It's different mythologies, different family. Mm-hmm. Like, give it a chance, people. Absolutely. Also, read the books. They're good. And then read whatever Riordan presents if you're in that demographic. I, unfortunately, okay. am not anymore. <laughs> I know. Like, I feel like since I don't think I ever finished, like, Magnus Chase. So, like, I'm like... If I, I never ever, started. Yeah, if I ever did pick it up again. It's dead in Boston because it's, like, Norse. So that's, like, fun for me. But Is Boston Norse? I don't know why it's involved. <laughs> Are the Vikings here? I don't know. <laughs> Did they come? Over I don't here? either. But isn't he like Anna? Is he like Annabeth's cousin? Yes. They have the same last name, right? Mm-hmm. 
I don't know. <laughs> don't in the me. comments below, let us know what's going on with the Magnus Chase series. Did you read more. The Trials of Apollo? I don't think I finished it. I read the first two and then I didn't like Meg and she had my name and I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> I had it in my head because they were like go coming out at the same time that they were like the same book, like the same series. Or <laughs> I like don't know what I'm like caught up with, but I think I read most of it. It was like fun for a while. I don't really like Apollo as a protagonist. So yeah, I was just kind of like, okay, he's like a teenager now. Like, okay. Yeah, but also I wasn't like really a teenager anymore when they were. Yeah, it was yeah. Like, late, like later in high school. Yeah. I was just kind of not catching up anymore. But whatever. I need to get back into reading. I have devoured so many yes. books since Tell we last talked. Um, yeah, let me pull up the Goodreads okay. and I'll give you the rundown. I think I've read the reads and I'll do all my shows and movies that I've seen since we last sounds talked. great because I have not watched any new shows or movies okay. but I have been you chewing through these books balance each other out so since we last talked I finished tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow okay. by Gabrielle Zevin loved Very it it made the all-timer list five stars um Bianca is a poetry collection I loved it it's by Eugenia Lee she's a Korean American poet she's brilliant she's one of the only Korean American women poets in America wow. um I finally read Normal People by Sally Rooney I didn't know that this has been out forever but I just have you, well, have you watched the show I started the show but um I had literally just finished the book and it is such a faithful adaptation I was like oh yeah I just read it. <laughs> so like oh it's so maybe, good, yeah yeah so I think I'll pick the show back up um maybe in a couple months when yeah. the book isn't as fresh um I read right. their eyes were watching God because mm -hmm. I am on my classics kick yeah. um the moon is always female which is a poetry collection by Marge Piercy uh blood child and other stories by Octavia Butler which was crazy I don't usually think that I am a sci-fi girly right. but like Octavia Butler could convince me because the stuff she writes just really? like draws me in yeah, and I don't need a dictionary to read it, so it's not as hard to like okay. get into. Yeah, like I don't really read sci-fi either because I'm just, mm -hmm. just there's too much going on. Like I can't give her it. a go. Yeah, okay. give her a go, and I think she'll help because she also like eases you into it. Okay. If you start with like Blood Child, which is a short short, short stories collection, um, that is like I feel like a good gateway drug because they're short stories, so they're not as like you don't have to remember as much. Um, but they're really good. Mm, um shot. and then I read Lady Macbethed which is a fictionalized account of the real Lady Macbeth's life mm. which was really interesting and I loved it and they made her like so sympathetic but also like still definitely with that evil streak which was so fun I'm such a Shakespeare girly so like of course that's going to be right up my alley um and then the last one was The Shadow of Perseus uh which is like it's set in the Greek times, but it's telling the story of Perseus through the women in his life. And it takes out the magic and the monsters. Like he's not a demigod. There's still like the golden rain, but he actually, like he just has a human father. Medusa's yeah. just like a normal girl. Um, and Andromeda, like they just don't speak the same yeah. language. It's like so interesting how she told it. Um, and like Perseus still very sympathetic, but he's also like... A kind dude. of scary wow. honestly in that yeah um the first section is through Danae uh like her point of view and it really felt like reading from Sally's point of view like it really just like she wanted to protect him she loved him like they were such besties it was very interesting from there and then Percy like goes off the deep end so that one was a wild one interesting you have mm -hmm. good read right yeah, do you want me to send you the link to be friends? I aren't we are we not friends? <laughs> I just made it like oh okay. Two I'll go, ago. I've had mine for like 10 years, like now. Yeah, I just finally got on the Goodreads trade. I don't know why I wasn't doing this. Before. I know. I'm like, ma'am. <laughs> I know. Yeah, so I'll send you Raina's my only friend right now. Oh, so we okay. just yeah. add me. I get emails that are like what yep. she's just finished, and I'll be like, Do you recommend it? <laughs> I hate yeah. it like like if I'll leave a review my like boyfriend will get like a email <laughs> that, like I've had a review I'm like don't look at that like, <laughs> don't perceive me um my sister you she we used to use goodreads but she uses like story something instead because amazon and 
corporations that she doesn't want to support because of Goodreads. So she uses something else, but... I'm not giving them any money. Yeah, exactly. But still, the idea... But Good yeah. on her. I don't have the stamina to boycott everything Amazon and Disney owns. I know. It's it's a lot. It's everything. Um, but yeah, at me, mine's definitely, mine's like all from like my middle school era. So it's like all my favorite books are like, you know, all the things I read in middle school and nothing is like updated because I haven't read in so long. Oh my gosh. Do you do Letterboxd? I use IMDb instead. Okay. Yeah. I don't use either of them because I don't watch good movies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that that's a big one for the movie people. Yeah, that's basically the same idea. But interesting. So I've been watching a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, as the people may not know, I left my last job and I had like these three weeks like traveling and just like chilling. And I just started my new job like two weeks ago a week and a half ago. Woo, woo. love them super nice wonderful time um but yeah tv shows let's get into it succession she's obviously succession sundays did you just start it or did a new no, season just start coming out from the last season so i need to like binge in like a week so i can watch it with everyone possibly but like a big thing already happened so i don't know you might see Does- spoilers is Succession the one with the guy from Parks and Rec? I forgot his name. Ooh. <laughs> Amy Poehler's husband in Parks and Rec. Is it Ben Wyatt? Yeah, Ben Wyatt's his character. Oh, he's not in that. He's in something, some drama that was really good. Severance. He's in Severance? Is that what you're thinking? Mm, yeah, they both start with S. That feels fair. Severance is the, what I want to watch next. Like, okay. I just got Apple TV. So I want to watch that next. Um, But yeah, Succession, they're on the final season. So it's the last. Is Succession HBO or Apple TV? HBO. Okay. Yeah. It's like one of the big, like, next to Game of Thrones. It's one of those big HBO shows. And like, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, so that's coming out on Sundays. Barry is also on their last season and they're coming out on Sundays. Um, that one's good. I just binged White Lotus, which is also on. Did H- you like it? I didn't I really. Hell if I liked, I just like watched it. I know I finished it, but I, I was like, I don't know if I enjoyed it. it. <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, I, they did a great job with the tension. Like you obviously wanted to keep on watching, but I was like, there's also, it's so slow, like nothing, but everything yeah. happens at the same time. I think I liked season one a little better, but I love Aubrey Plaza yeah I don't know the actors made up for the lack of I I hated the characters in season two so like they were so awful yeah and I was like the stories were kind of like all over the place so I don't know I don't know I was just like every time I'd watch it I'm like they're doing a good job with making me want to keep watching but I don't know how I feel about it yeah I was like well I need to know what happens but then it also just sort of ends I know and it's like is that even good writing or is it like (laughs) right like people because people eat that up they're like oh my god like I mean people love rich white people getting what's coming to them that's so fair but but I don't don't know if it's for me I'll probably watch season three if they make one but I don't know if I really like it it's, it's gonna be set in like Thailand or Vietnam somewhere like that so, and I was like, oh, you, you watched season two, right? Mm-hmm. When they killed off my girl, Jennifer Coolidge. I know. I was like, I was she's like, why I'm watching this. No, literally, I was like, they can't do that because they're bringing Belinda back in season three. Who the fuck is Belinda? The the spa lady she was obsessed with in season one. Oh, okay. I liked her. Justice for her. She's the only character I cared about. She, I also cared about Sydney Sweeney's friend yeah eh, she was kind of like annoying but yeah they're all kind of annoying but I was like they all got their flaws yeah yeah it was I weird. Don't know. it's just like weird writing 
Like, I can't tell if it's good. <laughs> I can't tell if it's for me. I don't pretend to be an arbiter on what's good or not. I can't tell. I don't watch good movies. Like, <laughs> I oh, actively I boycott them. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't. But I also, like, tend to watch shittier things or, like, stuff that's just easier and lighter. Even if it's, like, BoJack Horseman, it's a comedy. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I feel like White Lotus is kind of one of those things where it's like you can just ignore, like you can just enjoy it and ignore the deeper issues. <laughs> Sometimes like, they just have really pretty shots of Hawaii or Italy, right? and you're like, "Wow, look at the dolphins!" Yeah, yeah. So, no. yeah, that was an easy binge though. Like, I'm always and they're they're so short. They're like seven episode seasons. Yeah, so I don't know. I just feel like it's like never resolved at the end, and it fr- frustrates no. me. <laughs> not at all well and then i forgot her name annabeth miss annabeth from the yes, movies Annie. got back with him leave I him because i like thought about that for a while i was like okay she's finally like leaving him but then when she's there at the end i think it's kind of like oh she was scared of him because he literally killed a man and he got away with it like that privilege You're right well, you're right that would be scary yeah that's kind of my theory like oh she was like she's scared (laughs) so she's Mm -hmm. she has that security so i just feel so bad like oh because it's just so surprising how they give him they give certain characters good endings and the certain certain characters like bad endings like i don't know but yeah i watched that and then i started ted lasso which is on apple tv because i heard it was good I'm that's only supposed to be just like feel good yeah. right yeah but i don't know if i can take it seriously <laughs> he's like this like southern guy from wichita state and he's like, like english football right yeah and he like goes <laughs> to london and he's like well howdy y'all like, <laughs> like i can't do it it's but, kind of giving ryan reynolds almost i know like i maybe it'll just like grow on me but i'm just like maybe i haven't started that i feel like i need to but um you know how you like give the boys your friends date nicknames give the who like you're like you're dating like you bring oh, someone yeah, 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 it's like yeah. not important yeah so one of my friends has been like seeing this guy he had a mustache when they met mm-hmm. so we have called him ted lasso from the jump good <laughs> He has a name that is not Ted, but he is Ted in my brain. I can never meet this man. I'll call him Ted. But, um, (laughs) yeah, so I'm like, I need to watch the show. Apparently he's nothing like Ted Lasso at all. He doesn't even really look like Jason Sudeikis, but like he had a mustache. So he's Ted. It's a very aggressive mustache. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, it is. So I'll see how that goes. That'll be like a fun binge. Another show I wanted to watch that's new is jury duty I don't know if you've heard of it oh my god I just finished it okay you did how was that yeah it was so I heard it was like funny I can't believe they found that man like I don't think I would have reacted how he did in those scenarios he was just like so excited (gasps) to be there like they got sequestered and he was like I feel like this is a great opportunity like we don't have our phones for us to just connect with each other oh. and I was like where the fuck did they find Ronald like a wholesome dude I love the bug's life the what wait what does that have to do with that um well there's this one of the improv guys is supposed mm-hmm. to be like this weird guy who like makes a lot of inventions and everything and when they got to their hotel they share a wall you know how sometimes you have the door in a hotel room yeah like adjoining rooms yeah. so they have adjoining rooms and ronald found a bug's life in his room oh. and showed it to todd to be like hey you're an inventor you feel like you're weird and on the outskirts but like he does good things for the colony like oh. ronald shows todd a bug's life oh <laughs> i know he's so tender oh, so. speaking of me and cassie were talking about our like hear me out character <laughs> Bitch, she brought up that damn grasshopper from a bug. <laughs> Not even flake the fucking grasshopper. Like the angry grasshopper, you know. Like... The leader one? <laughs> the fascist? I don't... 
you were like I was going through that thread that I sent you that were like, that was like the really bad like hear me out and I was like this is sending me and like <laughs> she was talking about like a blue car like in cars and I was like oh I know which one you're talking about the guy with the mustache like doc and she's like no the other blue car <laughs> and we were just like was it not Sally not Sally the, there's she was thinking of like a darker blue car that like won one of the races I don't remember I was in like cars three that one I don't know which cars it is Mm. (laughs) sorry I'm a car connoisseur you're like "Mm, maybe (laughs) I care a lot about cars well the one that wins in cars three is a dick but like okay I think she's thinking of this man oh king king. yeah mine was this I thought she was talking about him (laughs) dog because I know people like him too (laughs) <laughs> yeah. it was it was so funny um but yeah that <laughs> side note um last on my tv show list is beef on netflix have you heard of it what the fuck is that no you know it? it's this it's like a new netflix show um with like steven yen see is that yeah steven yen and ali wong like these two i love ali wong yeah like asian american cast and mm-hmm oh it's so good like I can't even there's some like controversy right now with actors but the show is very good like isn't there always controversy with the actors always but I binged that shit like I could not stop watching it's insane is it just one season Mm -hmm. it's 10 episodes Mm -hmm. so like 30 minutes um really really easy to binge very very good like I love that it's really crazy do you know what we're getting the last stranger things oh yeah when is that <laughs> I don't know I'm ready like for that to be done but like also to watch it like the fact that she's like engaged Millie Bobby Brown and she posted the day after Joe and Taylor broke up with lover lyrics I know it wasn't premeditated but like the timing was crazy dude I know <laughs> that's that's just crazy that she was like She's still doing Stranger Things and she was like 10 when she started and now she's engaged. Like, But she's only like 19, I know. isn't she? Yeah. Oh my God. But I'm like, get that bag, you know? Good for her. Good for her, she looks I happy. I hope that that man isn't scary, you know? He's just a Bon Jovi dude. <laughs> Is he her age? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I don't know. No qualms. Make good choices, babes. XX, love. Uh, sign a prenup that's my advice to uh, bobby brown i don't know i like kind of ignored the taylor and joe like rumors but like is this official like (laughs) yeah at one of the concerts she wore rings on every single finger except her like marriage finger she just did like an like a loser sign to the lover yeah i think she also called herself a single lady and then have you seen all of the things like she'll go out to dinner with like lively yeah, and with Ryan all her Reynolds. girlfriends. <laughs> well, and then they go out to dinner and they unfollow Joe yep. the next day. Every picture I see of Joe when he looks like a different person. I know. Everyone's right? like, oh, he's walking around like poor, like walking the street. Gun to my head. I don't think I could pick him out in a police lineup. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that man personally. I'm- no clue i have no idea (laughs) oh that's kind of sad but like go off queen i'm seeing her next month Mm. did you make bracelets no but i picked out my outfit i actually like ordered like three dresses so i'll do a try on haul and we'll see which one's the best Mm -hmm. what era so we're like my friend group we're all doing like different eras I decided to do like the I bet you think about me music video mm-hmm. and the red dress and the red thing. So I'm doing that. Um, my friend Quinn's doing uh, Midnight's, her boyfriend's doing Lover, Elisa's doing like Love Story Fearless. So Nick needs to do something. Nick I have needs no to be Drew from debut. I'm like, what is this man? What do I make him wear to a Taylor Swift concert? Like, if he doesn't want to like do a costume, costume, either he can be oh, Harry definitely. Styles for 1989, or you could put him in just normal, I know, boy clothes, and he can be Drew or Stephen. You know, I know, it's so easy. <laughs> well, okay, so we were like, his favorite album is 1989, so like mm-hmm. maybe something there. I sent him the Valentine's Day 
you know the movie she's in with Taylor Lautner and they're yeah. both in, like gym clothes I'm like you could yeah. just do that but I feel like I'd have to match with him so maybe not another idea which is not original but it's like putting karma on a shirt karma's my boyfriend boring mm-hmm I don't know. Let me know down in the comments, guys. What do you, you have think? a folklore or an evermore? No. So I'm like, maybe he could just be like cottage core. Or you could make him a mirror ball. <gasps> <Aww>. <laughs> oh, we have 10 minutes. Ugh. Um, um, but yeah, let me know, guys, what you think my boyfriend should wear to the Eras tour. Mm-hmm. Because, oh, I'm wearing my Taylor Swift um, crew neck. Oh. That's so cute. The August bracelet that I made, hello, is like that, like olive oh, green. I love. I love August. That's like my favorite. Do you want? I'll sidebar. I'll send you pictures if you want any of the bracelets that I made. I will save them for you. I will take them. Okay. Especially I'm August. gonna be debut Taylor in oh, like a little blue dress. New York. No, I'm going in Detroit. Okay. When's that? Uh, June 9th, so I have a lot of time. Yeah. But if she sings, I am manifesting king of my heart. Oh, so good. I, it, but the chorus is Motown beat. She's going to be in Motown. Mm. Right? Like she has. It's gotta to. happen. Yeah. Phoebe is one of my guest singer people. Oh, so you might get nothing so we, new. We'll get nothing new. Mm-hmm. But, I don't know. Excited. Um, yeah. Oh, I'll go through my movies real fast before we. Oh yes, the movies. Uh, movies. I watched Mario. It was actually really fun. I want to see it so bad. <laughs> it was really fun. Um, I watched Dungeons Dungeons and Dragons. That one was fun too. Um, I watched High School Musical three last night. I Love watched her. all the High School Musicals right when I got back from London. I watched one, two, three back to back. <laughs> Yes. High School Musical 3 is so fucking good to me. 16 personally. minutes was life changing. It has like a special like place in my heart. Like every time they sing that graduation song, I'm like I, can't. I know. Like, I'm like, they did such a good job like wrapping up that series. Can I have this dance? Stop! Literally. It's everything. Like, ugh. So yeah, I watched that last night and then we also watched Project X. Is that the party one? Yeah, I've never (laughs) seen it before. And I was like, I haven't seen it either. I mean, it's kind of like a classic. (laughs) So Miles Teller is in it, like as himself. Free mustache? Like just as himself. Like he's a baby, like a child, but. Oh, interesting. He's like like a teenager. Um, But he's there as himself, but not a lot of screen time. So I'm like Mm -hmm. sad, but it was funny actually. Um. I watched the new anime movie called Suzume. It's the same guy that made Your Name, which is like one of the best movies of all time. Um, that was one. Was, that one was funny too. And then I watched Romeo and Juliet. I watched Baz Luhrmann's Romeo and Juliet with Baby Baby Leo. Baby Leo, and I've like never. Like, I don't know anything about Shakespeare. Like I know you're a Shakespeare really, really. So yeah. like watching this was interesting for me. <laughs> That one is an interesting take on Romeo and Juliet, too. They yeah. are all over the damn place. I mean, like, I was like, I know the story. Like, I've seen West Side Story. <laughs> <laughs> I know Romeo and Juliet, but I was just like, one, yes, I understand ba- Baz Luhrmann. He's an interesting man. But then, like, what? I was just like, it's, it's in modern times. There's but gun- it's also not. But they're also like, so talking weird. as if they're still in Shakespeare era, which like that's how Shakespeare is. But like, yeah, it just caught me so off. And then Paul Rudd's there, like he, out of nowhere. That one though, in all of the movie ones, they cut out a lot of Juliet stuff. Like if you like read the text or if you see like a full all five acts as written, Juliet is the main character and Romeo is the love interest. But Every single movie and cut changes it so Romeo's the main character. And he just does not have enough there to be There's the main character. There's not much going on. Like, he's just no, because he's the love interest. He's a one-dimensional love interest. Right. Go off. But, like, Juliet has the meat. She's the one that, like, ponders, oh. like, what is a name? Like, would a rose be just as sweet? Like, she should be the main character, but they always, they always mangle it. Like, why can't it be called Juliet and then there's Romeo? She's everything. Well, that's Anne Julia on Broadway, but <laughs> he's Ken for sure. Yeah, she's everything. He's just Ken. Um, yeah. What's your favorite, like, Romeo and Juliet, like, adaptation then? I mean, the Boz Lerman one is too fun. Like, that really? one is my favorite. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'd love to, I like to see it on stage. Yeah. 
Romeo and Juliet is also my least favorite Shakespeare, though, which mm. is a hot take. I mean, valid. Like, she it's overrated. so popular. Yeah, overrated. It's like, is it even a love story? Like, <laughs> yeah, tragedy. <laughs> yeah, I just prefer Hamlet or Macbeth, which also are not fringe choices, but like. I, I just don't like know them better. The difference between them, to be honest with you, <laughs> they're completely Dude, different. Let's do a Shakespeare lore next episode. <laughs> okay. I need like, the spark notes. <laughs> I'll come study it. I'll let you know what's Love. going on I'll in the Shakespeare verse. Like everything I didn't listen to in English class, like I can mm-hmm. learn. <laughs> the big thing that you need to know is every single comedy is exactly the same, mm-hmm. but that doesn't make them any less funny when you watch them. Really. Mm-hmm. Okay. they always end in a wedding that's what makes it a comedy <laughs> it's wow. literally a interesting well mm-hmm. that's what we've got for y'all today thanks for tuning in tuning in and follow us on here we got instagram tiktok and youtube and we're also on spotify and apple so thanks for listening thanks see you next time